First of all, congratulations on the, I think you guys are the very first series on Freebie that will be coming up soon. That's right. We're excited to launch Freebie with our, with our show. I mean, it's yeah. a cool confluence of events. We have a new show, Australia. It's a marriage between Australia and the States, and we get to launch it on Amazon's Freebie. Well, I got to watch the very first episode and was very excited about the tone. It's very different. Um, now, did you all get a chance to read the book before you uh, got pitched this series? Because I know you're the executive, one of the executive producers, uh, Mr. Jane. Yeah, you know, when Courtney Penn and I started Renegade in 2019, um, right before the world kind of fell apart. And one of the first things that came across our desk was this novel, Crimson Lake, by Candace Fox, who we, we've uh, shepherded that show along to, to, to deliver Trapo to the world. And, uh, you know, ah, when, when you, I think it didn't mean as much in 2019 as it, did, as it does now, but the fact that these characters, Amanda and Ted, that their lives have been shattered, you know? It's two people who have just been broken by these traumatic events, very different events, but they're shattered. And, and that now, looking back on it in 2022, I'm like, God, it has more in common with the world than I thought. I think a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sheltering in place has not been fun for me. Um, so one of the things that I found fascinating about your characters was they were coming from such a dark, traumatized place. How did you all find that within yourselves? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Just waking up in the morning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, the well is deep. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's for me, it's therapy to be able to have somewhere, a creative outlet to be able to pour your trauma, your personal trauma into, I think is very healthy uh if you're able to kind of let it go and leave it there mm. it came along in a very interesting period of my personal life and i feel so grateful that i had the opportunity to have somewhere healthy to like kind of just resh reshape that energy and put it into something creative and productive so yeah it was, it was a pleasure <laughs> yeah finding having something that you're passionate about during is 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 a good thing no matter what's going on in the world. Yeah. But ha having something that you're passionate about and that you can put your energy, your, your everything you have into it is such a gift. And I, it's just somebody was saying you know, recently, like right now during the, these times that everybody's having their own experience of this trauma that the world's been going through the last couple of years, just, having something that you're passionate about sharing it with the world is more important than ever. It really is. And I'm very curious, um, Mr. Jane, how did you juggle not only being one of the executive producers, but acting in it, but I know you have a lot of um, hats on that you wear. So how do you keep all of that sort of balanced? My partner, Courtney Penn and I created renegade in 2019 i think i was saying right before the world fell apart and you know uh this was one of the first projects that came across our desk and we were um so when you wear these hats you can't wear both at the same time you know you, you got to be a producer and and that means developing the screenplays uh in, introducing our concepts to the team that we are working on. It's a group effort. We have a lot of great people on this show. And I think that's reflected in the, in the show itself. It turned out great, but that's what, you know, again, I'm passionate about. It gets me up in the morning, wear that hat. And then by the time I get to set, the scripts have been written. The directors have been cast. The team has been assembled. We found Nicole by some miracle. Uh, because if it weren't for Nicole, we wouldn't have had a show because this, this show relies so heavily on the chemistry between the two leads. And uh, so nailing that down was a miracle because then we're like, oh, now we have a show. I guess now we have to go do it. I guess I got to go to Australia now. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, you, you got you, you to break it up. You got to break it up. Now, I know the show is based on the book 
But I'm wondering, did you also sort of look at other um, true documentaries to sort of get a feel of being not only a victim, but also someone navigating their own uh, difficult path of being accused or having been accused of being a murderer and, um, to both of you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um i i watched a lot of um documentaries on teenage girls in prison that wow. uh, I, I i i watched a lot of that and just kind of because there's so many different characters everyone kind of takes on a role in that world and just trying to work out like where i would fit in that um, being in isolation, like we were in Melbourne, Australia specifically, we were locked down. And yeah. so just allowing that feeling, like just allowing that feeling of being separated and being isolated and, and what that does to a human being. Um, yeah, that was, that was, that was enough, but like, yeah, it was, I was so fascinating watching, yeah, documentaries on teenagers especially girls in prison. That's part of the job is going, you know, we, we have to explore some pretty dark places, some places that, you know, nobody wants anything to do with. And you hope to God, nothing like that ever happens to you. Mm -hmm. But as artists and as people who are creating this, this story and these characters, we, uh, we have to peek under the covers a little bit and, and go to some places that, uh, you know, not, not, uh, not comfortable, <laughs> but, we do it because we want to, we, 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 our job is to reveal, you know, aspects of uh, what it is to be alive, you know, in this, in this time. Now, Miss. Um, Terry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're out of time. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.